Hey guys, so I know I haven't been here lately, so to make up for that, so to make up for the time, I'm going to make you a video that is long overdue, and it's called Five Things That School Taught, Five Lies That School Taught You, Five Lies School Taught You. Number one. Texting friends is a waste of time. I know, probably everybody in your life that's older than you, most likely over 18, is has told you this. Let me just tell you, they need to get their facts straight because that is totally wrong. Well, with texting your friends, um, like, I don't know how to say this, but like, it like, Improve your language skills. The earlier you start texting, the better. Because better texting skills equals better language and reading skills. See, if I were a parent, I would let my child start texting. Because then, they'll do way better in school than a person who didn't even start texting until they're like, what, 13? Two. Two. Chewing gum in class is a distraction. I bet you all of your teachers told you this. And let the someone speak. Then you get to. I remember this one time when I was in third grade and I just had this big wad of gum. It was MSP testing. I'm just like. And then my teacher's like, Mackenzie, are you alright? Are you going to throw up? I'm just like, no, I hope we can gum on my mouth. He's like, oh, spit out half of that. I mean, seriously, I was a dumb child back then. Like, like, I only had one teacher that, like, let us chew gum during MSP. But, seriously, all of your teachers need to get their concept. Why am I pointing to my brain? I have no idea. Okay, so they need to get their concept on stick. Because chewing gum is not a distraction. It may be distracting for others, but guess what? They can block it out. I've done it, I've done it a lot of other times. Okay. Help. Chew, chewing gum actually helps focus and concentrate. See, if any teachers are watching this right now, ha, ha, ha. You told your students that you, that they aren't allowed to, to, chew gum because it's too distracting, well guess what, if you want your students to do better, you should let them, because guess what, it helps them focus and concentrate, and they taste good, why am I touching my skin, I have no idea, why am I touching my face, okay, so, gum also relieves stress and tension, which is pretty good, since, um, for people who want to lose weight, stress can help not lose weight. It will help you, like, get the lower belly fat, stuff like that. And then it also gives you stress acne. I cannot stress about how much this is important, especially to me. I know, it probably looks I have flawless skin. But underneath, like, if you actually saw me in real life without any makeup on, like, I have concealer and stuff like that on. But if you actually saw me without anything on, then you would see I have some actual stress acne. I have like one right here, and it's huge, and it squirted. I probably shouldn't have told you that, but yeah, it squirted. That was, and it was this morning. It was disgusting. And I have another one right here that I like popped, and it's like all scabby and stuff like that. And I have another one like. Blackheads under here, blackheads on here. I have a horrible face. But from the camera, I look amazing. I think. I don't really know. Okay, but, yeah. And it also increases your, it also, chewing gum also increases your memory by 35%. That is a lot. I mean, it's not like a passing grade or anything, but it's still a lot for, like, memory and stuff. Three, 
Listening to your iPod distracts you from studying. It does not. Let me just say this. It does not. Like, if you listen to the right music, then it won't distract you because it's not all... Stuff like that. Like, lyrical ones. Lyrical ones, you cannot listen to doing studying because it'll just distract you and you're just like... Well, you're supposed to be studying, like, what, math? <laughs> Science? And it also blocks out annoying distractions from everyone else. Like, if you if you listen to music, okay, I remember this one time when I was just like listening to my music, the wrong kind of music though. I was just listening to my music and I'm just rocking out and I'm like I'm doing my homework and then like I, like they passed out my homework during school during class time and then I'm just doing my homework. Everyone else is doing their homework. I didn't finish it. Who cares? Um, and I'm just looking around, and I'm just like, wow. I cannot hear a single thing they're saying. Yeah. And then it also helps you relax and concentrate. I know I said this during the gum, but a lot of things help you relax and concentrate. Sleeping, taking a shower. Oh, my God. Taking a nap. Naps are the best thing ever. Four. Doodling in class is a count is counterproductive. I'm sure a lot of teachers have told you this. And again, they are wrong. Because guess what? Because guess what? Doodling helps concentrate. Yeah, it helps concentrate, teachers. Which means if you're like like doing a boring lecture about like triangles. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just like all obsessed with math right now. No, I'm not actually. I'm not. And um, just the notice. Um, all videos will be coming out on Friday every week. Um, helps concentrate because like if you're doing like a boring lecture about triangles or something like that, they are going to doze off. You don't want your students to doze off. So, if they are getting bored and they're about to doze off, tell them to doodle. Because guess what? It helps relieve the stress of listening to that boring, that boring lecture. So, once they come back from doodling, guess what? They'll be all relieved and fresh, and they'll remember more. From, sorry, from the start where they come back in. And before they went out. Um, five. This is the last one, people. Five. Daydreaming is a waste of time. I'm sure hundreds, okay, hundreds of teachers have told me this. Guess what, people? People who told me that, you are liars. Daydreaming? Daydreaming is a useful thinking tool. Like, I could think of... Did you know that inventors actually thought of inventions while they were, like, going to the shower or, like, taking number two? Yeah. Daydream also helps unlock a large portion of your brain. But, wow, you daydream. And it also helps, like... It helps, like, block, like, not block, but, like, unblock your brain to where you can actually learn and do the problem solving and stuff like that. So, that's it for right now. I hope you liked it. Um, if you liked it, like it. Um, comment, comment down below, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you next week. Bye!